Okay, just a couple of quick fixes to the Russia move. Um, he wants to take one of the infantry that he originally placed in Novgorod and place it in Russia instead, and one of the artillery that he placed in Russia into Novgorod. Also, um, he wanted to leave one of the infantry from, that moved from Ukraine to Bryansk in Ukraine. So that is uh, the case there. So um, just the revisions, uh, Novgorod now has four infantry, one artillery, one tank, and one fighter instead of five infantry and no artillery. Uh, and Russia, Moscow itself, has two artillery and one infantry instead of uh, three artillery and no infantry. Bryansk has 12 infantry instead of 13, and Ukraine has one instead of none. Uh, so those are the fixes for that. Um, Japan will be up in just a sec. Okay, Japan has 51 IPCs to spend, I think. That's uh, 28 um, that they're spending on four um, transports, 16 on an aircraft carrier, and 6 on a... Um, uh, on two men. Uh, that means they're going to save a dollar. Uh, here are the attacks for the uh, Japanese turn. Some of them are air attacks only. Uh, Jehol will be attacked with uh, two tactical bombers and three fighters from Shantung, and it is an air attack only, so um, they're just looking to clear out the area, but they can't take it. Uh, Shahar will be attacked using the bomber from Shantung, uh, and again, it only gets one shot. If it hits, great, the guy's gone. And if the guy defends, then the bomber's gone. Um, on Wei will be attacked with two infantry from Qiangxi and the bomb, the other bomber from Shantung. Uh, Hopei and Shenxi will both be attacked. Hopei with an infantry and an artillery from Kuai Chao, and Shenxi with an infantry from Kuai Chao and an artillery from Sichuan. Um, in the south, actually, let me come around this way. It's a bit easier to see. In the south, in the islands, uh, there are going to be a couple of attacks happening here. Um, one sub and the tactical bomber from the uh, aircraft carrier uh, are going to attack C-Zone 42. And then uh, C-Zone 43 will be attacked with the destroyer and the um, uh, carrier. And then there will be an amphibious landing. And the infantry from Sumatra will get on the transport, move to 37, pick up the tank from Siam, and then attack here. That attack will also be supported by one of the uh, uh, two planes, one of the fighter plane from the carrier, and the tactical bomber from um, Kuangxi will come along as well. Uh, I think that's all the attacks, so... Oh, sorry. No, no, that's it. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get ready to start rolling. Okay, the Japanese will be attacking Zhihol. Uh, this is an air attack only, so the territory cannot be taken. Uh, but the Japanese are coming in with three fighters and two tactical bombers. Five hits, so the Russians are wiped out, but they do get a chance to defend. And they knock out a fighter. So, I think a fighter. Um, hang on just one sec, I want to check something. I'll put this on pause so the video is not too long. Okay, so yes, they lose a fighter, but all of these guys are dead. Okay, this is a Japanese attack on Shahar. Uh, they're coming in with one uh, bomber. Uh, they only get one shot. We're playing modified um, BBR, so it's not the two dice of two, it's still four, but they only get one shot. And they hit. But the Chinese do get to defend. And they took out the bomber. So the bomber's dead. Uh, so um, the territory's cleared, but Japan doesn't take the territory because there were no ground units and the bomber is uh, destroyed. 
Okay, for the attack on on way, the Japanese are coming in with two infantry and a strategic bomber. Hit twice. So the infantry's dead, but they do get a defense. Miss. So Japan takes the territory with no casualties. In the battle for Hopei, the Japanese are coming in with an infantry and an artillery. Hit. And the Chinese defend. Miss. So Japan takes the territory with no casualties. Okay, same attack profile for Shenxi, uh, Japanese infantry artillery against Chinese infantry. Hit. Hit. So Japan takes the territory but suffers one infantry casualty to do it. All right, in the battle for Sea Zone 42 off the coast of Java. Uh, the Japanese um, submarine I-154, uh, I yeah, I-154, and a Japanese um, uh, uh, any, uh, what the hell are those called? Tactical bomber from the uh, carrier Akagi uh, are attacking the Australian uh, HMAS Vampire Destroyer and HMAS Lai transport. So it's a two versus a th and a three versus a two. So one hit, so the destroyer's dead. And it does not uh, defend. So the destroyer's killed. We don't have to reroll this. This is an auto kill. Uh, so the C zone is cleared and the Japanese lose no casualties. Okay, Sea Zone 43, the Japanese destroyer Fumizuki and the Japanese carrier Akagi are clearing the Sea Zone of the Australian transport, the HMAS Labuan, uh, in preparation for an amphibious landing uh, by the Asaka Maru um, transport, which is bringing in infantry and a tank. Uh, so this is an auto kill, there's no rolling here, so this... Uh, this uh, transport is dead. Glug, glug, glug. Okay, this is the amphibious landing in Borneo. The Asaka Maru is dropping off an infantry and a tank. Uh, and joining the attack are a fighter from the aircraft carrier Akagi and a tactical bomber from uh, the mainland. So we have a 1 and a 3 for the tank and the infantry. We have a 3 and a 4 for the fighter and the, ta and the tactical bomb. 1 hit. Disappointing. Okay. Australians defend. And miss with both. So that's good news for me. Two hits, so the island will be taken, but the Australians do get another shot and do not hit. So the Japanese take the island with no casualties. Okay, non combat landing the planes. The planes that participated in the Jehol attack, uh, three of them will land on the carrier that's going to be built in C Zone 6. And one of them, the fighter, will fly down to Quang Si. Um, the artillery, or the anti aircraft artillery in Shantung, will move into Kiang Su. Um, the artillery in Quang Tung will move into Quang Si. And one of the two infantry in Quang Si will be railed to Sichuan. We can rail one infantry from a military base. Uh, down in the uh, southern part here, uh, all three planes, the plane from the 42 attack and the two planes from the Borneo attack will land on the carrier in C-Zone 43. Uh, so let me tidy up the board and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, placement of new units, the new aircraft carrier 
It's going, of course, in C-Zone 6, and the planes uh, will land on it. So There we go. So that's a rather formidable carrier contingent right there. Uh, the four transports will go also into C-Zone 6, of course. And then the two new infantry will be placed at the military base in Kyangsu, or Kyangsi, sorry. So that's there. Uh, okay, um, income. There are three Chinese territories that are now Japanese, Hopei, Anhui, and Shanxi, so that's plus three. And then there is a plus four for Borneo. So, that's plus seven for the Japanese. So they're going to go from 34 to 41. The UK Pacific is going to go down from 18 to 14. And uh, China is going to go down from 12 to 9. Um, so that means 41 IPCs, base income. Uh, the Japanese currently get no bonuses. Uh, but they did save a dollar from their last turn, so they'll start next turn with 42 IPCs. Okay, disposition of Japanese forces. Here we go. There are four fully loaded supercarriers in C-Zone 6, uh, three of which have two tactical bombers and one fighter, and one of which has three fighters. We have two battleships, two cruisers, three destroyers, and four um, transport ships. Uh, on Japan itself there are two fighters, one strategic bomber, six infantry, three artillery, and three anti-aircraft artillery. On Iwo Jima there's an infantry. On Okinawa there is an infantry. On Kyungsu there is a uh, anti-aircraft artillery. On Anhui there are two infantry. In Hopei there's an infantry and an artillery. In Shanxi there's an artillery. In Sichuan, there's an infantry. In Kiangxi, sorry, Kuangxi, uh, there are three infantry, one artillery, and one fighter. Um, in uh, the Philippines, three infantry and one artillery. In Palau, one artillery, or one infantry. In the Carolines, two infantry and an, and an anti-aircraft gun. Uh, and then way down here in the uh, South Pacific, in Borneo, there's an infantry and an artillery. Uh, in the sea zone surrounding Borneo, sea zone 43, there is a destroyer, uh, a fully loaded supercarrier with two um, attack bombers and a fighter, and a transport ship. Uh, in sea zone 42, there is a submarine currently convoying uh, Java. Okay, so that's the Japanese turn. Uh, that's where all of the units are, and it is up to the Americans to decide what they're going to do next. That's the forces that they have on this side of the board, and this is the very paltry forces that they have on this side of the board. What are they going to do next? <laughs>